Hello and welcome to another episode of Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. So, yeah, we got to Bratislava last episode. And... Oh, did it disappear? There was momentarily a delivery to wine, which was right next door. I guess I lost it. Hmm. Oh well. Where, where else can we deliver? We haven't delivered to yet. We delivered over there already. Over there already. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if we don't just want to just deliver this load and just go ahead and hit both these towns on the way. We'd have to ignore the GPS a little bit, but we could go through each town. Kind of get three in one, one, one pop, right? Let's try that. It's a little adventurous. Let's make sure we change our navigation so we can see what's going on around us once we pick up that load. Alright, let's get going. So I did adjust these sound settings. Let me know if this engine is too loud. I was told that the engine sound was too low. And that's part of the enjoyment of this game is hearing the revving of the engine. So if it's not right, let me know. I'll be glad to adjust it. Hopefully it's loud enough now. See, look, we're already ignoring the GPS. Go us. Oh, make it, make it, make it. Yes, no red light. Hate those red light tickets. Because these, these lights change very quickly in this game, and that always bugged me. Come on, let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through. That's right, let me through. That's how you drive. Just go ahead and butt in. So I think we're taking a right here. Ooh, yep. Gonna pick up in this, I guess, yard of some kind. And we're picking up that, yep. Take it. This will be the first time we drive through three towns on one delivery, if we do this right. I don't know if I'm going to do it right, though. It's kind of hard to drive it with a trailer around town, so I'm having to do that three times. kind of makes me a squeamish. Gotta watch my speed and everything so I don't get tickets and gotta watch for cars and all the other stuff you have to do when you're a truck driver, right? Okay. So it looks like we're five and a half hour drive from our destination. We'll make it in something like, I don't know, 20 minutes? 25 considering we're gonna make several stops. Whoa, 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 whoa. People just randomly walking to the end of a road and turning around. That's awesome. Go to the end of this road, take a left. Once we get on the highway, I'm going to change my GPS so that I can see where the towns are as we get close to them so we don't just blindly follow the GPS device all the way there. Ooh, green light, green light. I was all in my head there and forgot to stare at the red light. Whoa. So it is er I'm actually recording this very early today. Right, pretty much right after waking up. So I haven't had caffeine yet. So you get to see what I'm like without caffeine. Without caffeine. Yes, this is like 8 a.m. version of me. I haven't got hyper yet, so yeah. Be a little calmer, just a little bit. All right. So we are going uh, the speed limit, almost, kind of, right now. Whoa, whoa. All right, we're kind of on a very narrow road here. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Okay, let's look around. Oh, okay, that's perfect, that's the perfect view. That, that'll tell us exactly how to get into wine. We just kind of follow, try not to run into cars get across this giant highway apparently wow well this is this is somewhere that deserves a light I would think we're gonna be stuck behind this off-white car for about an hour or two hmm hmm maybe I should go around him I think I should go around him he's taking a long time I'm not sure if he's ever actually going to go. 
Is there a horn button? Where's my horn button? Nope, that's not it. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have a horn button. Seriously, there has to be a horn button in this game. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Perfect. That's right. Talking at you, buddy. See, it worked. Everybody go, quick. Before stuff happens. I'm gonna use that more often. That was actually useful. Alright, got the speed limit going. Got our map up. We're gonna hit wine. And we're gonna go ahead and navigate through all the roads of wine so we discover everything. And then we're gonna keep going to the next town. I hope this doesn't really hurt our drive time all that much. But it probably will. So now it's 90 kilometers per hour. We can get going. This is a windy road for 90 mile, uh, kilometers per hour. But it is pretty. So so uh, the makers of Euro Truck Simulator 2, always making wonderful, wonderful updates to this game, have just released the 64-bit version as of the recording of this. I am recording uh, these well in advance just to get the channel kind of launched and figure out how many time slots we want and things such as that. So the last thing I want is for people not to have videos to watch every single day, as many as they want. And then once we figure out all the time slots and how many I can record in a day and all that stuff, still reassigning uh, responsibilities between me and the second person in my team. Uh, we do have a two-person team on the channel. One is just more shy than the other. And yeah, once that's all settled down, we will probably start releasing these a lot closer to the actual time it gets posted. That's our goal, our eventual goal. That way we can be more actively responsive to comments. But, you know, early on, there will be a lot less comments on the channel, a lot less interaction. And so, oh, okay, brakes. Thank you, brakes. So, because of that, uh oh, am I supposed to go some, which way am I supposed to go in here? No, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Whoop. Okay. Traffic jam. We're going to go this way. And that's how you drive a truck. So once we balance out everything, figure out everything, figure out how long our time slots, you know, how many time slots a day and things like that, the idea is that we will, like I said, start recording a lot closer to the time it should be released, be a lot more responsive. There's not a lot of comments early on, so the more comments we have, the more likely we will be recording much closer to the release time and be, you know, talking to you guys and all that, reacting to things you asked for. And, yeah. But anyway, back to what I was saying. 64-bit version of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Really uh, cool that they keep uh, updating this, uh, these games and patching this game. Really love it when developers uh, stay with a game and keep supporting it and keep patching it and keep updating it. I love all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it's just wonderful for the community. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to all the advancements they put into the game. I'm sure it's uh, your weather and lighting and things like that will be part of this. I know that this update will help with memory and things like that. Uh, not running out of memory in the game. It also should, as they say, make the frames per second much smoother. I'm guessing especially for recording would probably, probably be some benefit on lo longer recording sessions. Helps, helps with mods and things like that. That's really, really awesome. And, uh, yeah. So, cool. Awesome. Awesome. I need caffeine. Oh my goodness. So, we're heading towards Wine. And we're going to take a little trip around the city. Taking all the turns. I'll probably have to change my GPS view several times during this whole trip. Just to see everything. I'm going to try not to run, run people off the road. That'll be good, I think. Here's Wine. I will just take all the turns. Oh, oh, green light, green light, go, 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 go. I love that. Oh man, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Seriously? See, I, I blame it on the car in the front. See, there's three cars in a row, and everyone started going, and then that one car just kind of stopped in the middle of the road. I, I think that really, all three of us are at fault. Except me. I'm not at fault. Go ahead. 
That's why you got hit, because you were sitting here. All your fault. Is there a person behind me? Yes, there is. Is this person ever going to go? Yes, apparently so. So remember, kids, don't stop in the middle of the road. Very important. It's dangerous. Alright, going to get everything turned around in wine. Can't believe I was just forced to have a wreck. So unfair. You guys are with me, right? Yeah, you guys are with me. Uh oh, roundabout. Hate roundabouts. They're so round. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's just go through the middle. Yep, that's perfect. Oh, yep, that's exactly what we wanted to do. That's why we don't like roundabouts. You guys change that to a four way. We're not in England. You know, I say all this, but roundabouts are actually really efficient. I know my dad. My my, uh, my dad actually talked to me. Uh, has talked to me for years about how much he loves roundabouts, <laughs> and how wonderfully efficient they are, and how easy they are to to clear up traffic congestion and things like that. They're so much more efficient than four-way stops. So if he sees this video, I'm sorry. Take a left, 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 left turn. Left, 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 left turn. Oh, don't go too fast. Hard to tell how fast I'm going. <laughs> Hard to tell how fast I, I'm going with like three different things on my screen that tell me how fast I'm going. <laughs> uh, it's the Ooh, nature. Look how pretty that nature looks. Got all kinds of nature out there. Still a red light. See, I didn't look at nature long enough. Look at look at the sun. That looks amazing. So cool. What is up with this red light? I'm just going. Okay, green light. Gonna go straight. Gonna go straight. Straight down the road. Gonna go straight. If you have songs that you would like for me to butcher, please let me know in the comments. There you go. Take a left. Someone actually asked me, why do you ask why do you ask people from other countries? Why do you ask all these questions about, you know, if you live in this country or if if you, you know, are interested in this, comment below. It's a running joke. Just in case there's any confusion. It's kinda like a gag where you're like, hey, why don't you da 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 and it's you know, it's supposed to Yeah, I'm just I, by explaining it I'm just ruining the joke. But yeah. So if you've watched this episode, you have an inside knowledge as to the jokiness of this video series. Congratulations, and we'll see you next time. Okay. I think we're almost done with this town. Left turn. Another left turn. And another left turn. Like four left turns, we'll be back on the road. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, green light. Left, 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 left. You can tell that I haven't had caffeine because you can tell how calm I, I am right now. I'm not not quite as crazy. There's not, not as many voices in my head right now because there's no caffeine. No caffeine, no caffeine. No, 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 no caffeine. Roundabout, roundabout, roundabout is scary. Yeah, let's just drive right over that sidewalk. That's perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Cut that guy off. Yep. I'm glad he was going this way. Otherwise, we would have had a massive wreck between my, my highly flammable cargo and his tank of extremely flammable liquid. Oh, uh, that would have been awesome. I kind of want to have a wreck with him now. But again, no wrecks so far in this entire series. We're just we're just flawless. No other Euro Truck Simulator 2 series has a such a reckless driver as me. See, completely reckless. There are no wrecks at all. Do I turn left here? I feel like I should turn left here because there's stuff on that road over there. There's also stuff up there. 
Why do they have to spread them out like this? Why do you hate me, game? We have to go down here and then make a U-turn by driving into the left lane and then making a crazy turn like this and then going this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This may have been a bad idea. Okay. Turn all the way to the right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. This way. This way. Yep. Come this way, trailer. We're gonna make it. Okay, left, 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 left. Look, buildings. Log truck. I love log trucks. Log trucks are so cool. That's right. I was completely silent at a red light. You're welcome. You are welcome. Ooh, I'm behind the log truck. I'm excited. Logs, 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 logs. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Almost ran into the logs. Okay, I think we're gonna go take a lift out of here. And we're gonna go back, go get back on the road towards our destination. Destination. And take another left up here at that giant red light ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Change already. Seriously. Change. See? Horn works every time. Perfect, perfect. We're losing a lot of time on our delivery, but we're exploring more towns, so we're getting a three-for-one deal in this one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Red light. Taking a left. Whoop. 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 Hey, we made it. Sweet. That was a lot less difficult than I made it out to be. So if we're turning left on the to the left on the GPS, that's turning right on the truck because we're going in the downward direction. Trust me, it makes sense. Believe me. So we're going this way. Because back in my day, we actually had paper maps like that. Where you actually had to do stuff like that. Like, okay, we're going in the downward, southward direction. Therefore, we want to go west. Therefore, we have to turn right. We had to do that kind of math. That complex geometry. I am, I am like all over the place with my camera. Like left and right and left and right and left and right. I must look really weird to the other drivers in this game. Okay. So, I'm going to take a quick break here. Oop. And we're going to continue this drive in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. We have discovered wine, and that's going to be the name of this episode, hopefully. And then we're going to go to the next episode and the next town and what and so forth and so on. So, thanks for watching. Remember, keep it clean.